regular meeting of the board, March 14, 2024, to order with the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Amen. Adoption of agenda. It is recommended that the agenda of the March 14, 2024 regular meeting of the Board of School Trustees be approved as presented. Motion. Second. All in favor? Approval of minutes. It is recommended that the minutes of the February 15, 2024 regular meeting of the school the board of school trustees be approved as presented. <clears throat> Motion. Second. All in favor? Okay. Statements or questions from the public? Am I still signing? <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are doing statements and questions from the public. Just a reminder, you get three minutes per statement per person. And you can't say staff members' names, and you have to be signed in on the board. So is there anybody we're missing? All right. Uh, Gary, Mc Greg McDonald? Greg McDonald. I'm here on behalf of Hillbrook Christian Academy, and I'm here to, uh, uh, again, speak to the uh, proposals that are before this board, and uh, we would like for the, uh, the school to follow uh, what we understand and have had conversations with the IHSA and, and their rules. Their rules are only extended from 9th to 12th grade, and they their rules say that 9th to 12th grade is regulated based on attendance at the school. They do not say anything about 7th through 8th. They don't say anything about kindergarten through 5th. And we are here tonight asking you to just open up the doors and let our kids come play. Uh, we are uh, we're not we're not antagonistic to Southeast Fountain school systems. I've got grandkids here. I told you that last time. I don't want to reiterate the things that I've said, but I I, I have attended meetings. I've been a part of things. We've been a part of ministries to the school to the kids. We do everything from the Hillsborough Church to the Nazarene that we've been asked to do to help in every way with the school. And I've been involved in multiple projects, multiple things. And I've even sat before our superintendent here with a mentoring program that we wanted to bring to the elementary schools. Kind of fell through because of COVID and all the stuff that went with that. We are not antagonistic to Southeast Mountain School System. But we would like the opportunity for our kids just to play in under great sports. See, IHSA gets involved. That We understand there are rules there and uh, that bind you and bind us. We understand that. It's just an opportunity for the kids to learn camaraderie, to reach out to other kids that they don't elbow, to elbow with them, <coughs> and to be a part of, the, uh, of, of uh, the character building aspects that sports brings to it that we're not allowed. We are not yet capable of bringing to our kids. And may never do. And we want to be able to let our kids be a part of that. Yep. All right, uh, next is Dawn Sommer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dawn Sommer, and I'm a proud parent of the Fountain Central Mustang, Madeline Sommer. I also attend church at the Hillsborough Church of the Nazarene. Besides the two factories on 41, we pay more in property taxes than any other landowner in the school district. I also represent Center Bank, one of the longest running core businesses in the district. Please note that we have proudly supported this district 
upon the opening of the Hillsborough Christian Academy in the following capacity. $21,500 to building trades. I do want to note that one of the businesses is pulling out from that, um, from that foundation. $20,000 to the Fountain Central High School ATM. $15,000 to trust scholarships. $10,000 to the Fountain Central Tennis and Buildings um, Friends Building. $2,000 to the Fountain Central Track and Football PA System. In addition to that, we do the bonsai banking educational products used by the teachers in the classroom. We also do the academic awards program, the National Honor Society, after prom, the backpack program, the PTO, sports calendars, sectional sponsorship, regional sponsorship, semi-state student ticket donation, and the list simply continues. I state these items so that you know that I absolutely adore this community, both with my heart and monetarily, as I believe the issue is in fact about money. Perhaps some of you look at each of the child that attends the Christian Academy as dollar signs lost to the Fountain Central School District, as I understand and I am a businesswoman. I remind you that this school is currently only K through eight, and these children will be mainstreamed into Fountain Central. However, after being rejected in the manner that they have, to be asked not to return from the practice, I doubt that their parents will want them to attend such a school when Covington has welcomed them with open arms. In the words of Mario Angelo, I learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. In conclusion, I ask that you remember what sports meant to you as a child, what it means to you now as a coach, but it truly hurts by allowing these children to participate in a district that I thought I was proud to support and to belong. The solution is simple. I ask that you set politics aside and that we simply pay ball. I thank you for your time. Thank you. Next is Adam. Administrative recommendations. It is recommended that prepaid and February claims number 100838 to 100944 be approved as presented. Motion. Second. All in favor? Personnel. It is recommended that the resignation from Andrea Balmer be approved as presented. Motion. Second. All in favor? It is recommended that Kim Dotson be hired as a full-time teacher at Southeast Fountain Elementary. Um, Mrs. Dotson served with us in many capacities. She began as a substitute teacher, um, then came on as an instructional aide, and her student teaching with us, and now we are thrilled to welcome her um, full-time to our classroom. So she is fulfilling the end of a Title I assignment um, at the end of the year, but will be transitioning to fourth grade at the start of next school year. Motion. Second. All in favor? It is recommended that the resignation from Nathaniel Butts be approved as presented. Motion. Second. All in favor? It is recommended that Nancy Carr Wright be hired as a long-term sub at Southeast Fountain Elementary School. Uh, Mrs. Carr Wright's been with us since prior to Christmas, filling in for Ms. Grubb as she is out uh, receiving cancer treatment. And so. Um, unfortunately, that had to continue longer than Ms. Grubbs anticipated, so um, Nancy has agreed to stay on and finish the school year for our start classes. Motion. Motion. Second. All in favor? It is recommended that Trevor Effort be hired as a physical education teacher at Fountain Central Junior Senior High School for the two. I believe class 2019. Um, he is just sending teacher preparation program. We're excited to bring him on. I had the pleasure to speak to his supervisor um, during his student teaching placement, and it was one of the um, better recommendations that I've ever heard someone speak on someone's behalf. So we're very excited to bring a, an energetic and enthusiastic young teacher into our program. Motion. Second. All in 
favor? See, be approved as presented. Motion. Second. All in favor? Quotes. It is recommended that the quote from Perlin bus sales in the amount of $283,526 be approved to purchase two new buses. Each year when you approve the budget, you also approve the bus replacement plan. Um, sometimes we wait later in the year to get the buses, but we're doing, we want to do this now because the prices for the buses continue to climb, climb and they're taking a big jump right now. That said, if you approve it and we order them, we're probably not going to see the buses anytime soon because like a lot of things, they're, it takes a while to get them because they're so far behind in preparing the chassis. Motion. Second. All in favor? <clears throat> it is recommended that the quote from Bloom in the amount of 33600 be approved for the purchasing of three-year licenses with Go Guardian. Go Guardian is our monitoring tool to make sure that our students are using internet safely and we can um, do everything in our power to keep them on safe sites. Motion. Second. All in favor? It is recommended that the quote from Acorn Sound in the amount of $19,711 be approved to upgrade the sound system in the cafeteria at Fountain Central. So last month you approved um, Acorn Sound and there were two parts, but what we, and I apologize and take responsibility for this. <laughs> the projection part of that whole thing so there's still this additional amount however i spoke to um, mr oak from acorn sound and if we approve that and do all three of the things then he has knocked initially the price was um, 21 7 11 and he knocked another two thousand Off if we're going to go through with all three parts. Motion. Second. In favor? It is recommended that the Board of School Trustees approve the resolution recognizing Southeast Fountain School Corporation's commitment to reaching a 95% pass rate on the IRE 3 assessment by 2027. <laughs> Kelly or Lindsay, do you want to speak to that? Or I can. Um, I mean, there's obviously lots of push from the state house um, with just you know helping our students to become readers by third grade. Um, I'm sure if you watch the news at all, there's been lots of legislation passed with that. Um, you know, personally, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot for this. Last year, we were at a 91% pass rate, um, which really right now the state's goal is that you'd be over 70. So I feel like you know again our teachers. And our staff for that, so I think it's a very attainable goal for us. Motion. Second. Favor. It is recommended that the resolution on board compensation be approved as presented. The Indiana General Assembly um, changed what board members. Those who are elected to the board uh, get 2000 a year, paid twice a year, but you can also get a per diem regular meetings at $150 and attendance at special meetings that we hold um, at $75. The 2000 plus you would get the per diem and it would still be paid out twice a year. It just, I would keep an accounting, have you sign almost like a timesheet of who's at what meetings so that twice a year I can provide our treasurer and payroll specialist with a total amount of what you should be compensated. Motion. 
It is recommended that the resolution authorizing litigation against social media be approved as presented. This is similar to the dual le legislation that we were a part of. Um, there's, while there are a lot of great things with social media, there are also a lot of harmful effects for our kids. Some of the things, for example, um, you hear a lot about TikTok right now, placing sinks and things in our restrooms that were, you know, that was the fad. Different things like that that have come up um, because of them, school districts across the country are forming together and um, and seeking a judgment against social media to try to recoup some of the funds that we've had to do. There is no cost for us to participate in this, um, but I just need your permission for us to be a part of it. If there is a judgment, then we get our share. If, there, if we don't win, it's not like we have to pay anything. Motion. Second. All in favor? It is recommended that the revisions to policy number 322, athletics, be approved as presented. Last month, during discussion, uh, you heard information um, that came from communication with the assistant at IHSAA who explained that said that our junior senior high is one school so we have to follow the policy but that k5 is a gray area um, i want to remind you in the policy manual you already have a policy that says that the school subscribes to the rules and regulations of ihsaa we don't make policies one set for the um, elementary and a different set of policies and that's a current policy i did i would recommend that you clarify a little more. So what was read on the first reading last month, just a reminder, is adding to that athletic participation for all school sanctioned sports at all grade levels will be open to Southeast Fountain School Corporation students only. School sanctioned sports are those teams with coaches hired and or compensated by the school district. Motion. Second. Those in favor? It is recommended that the superintendent be granted authorization to sign for alternative services and private residential school placements. So um, if a student, um, we have a student that's our student, for example, at um, Covington, if they're going into residential, the district is required to to compensate for that, pay for that student to be there. Um, there is, through the state of Indiana, we can apply for excess funding to help defray those costs for the district, but the, the state of Indiana only allows the school board president to complete that application and sign for that unless the board designates someone else. I know that our board president, Josh Foxworthy, is not here tonight, but I have shared this with him too. Um, he is not opposed to it if, if you agree to that. And then that will allow me to complete that application for excess funding. Motion. Jill's motion. Second. All in favor? It is recommended that the superintendent be granted permission to advertise for 2024 lease bond hearings. As you know, our current lease is about at the end, we're about finished with that, and our next projects that we're hoping to do um, would need to be funded through the lease bond, through a future lease bond. So to do that, it requires um, a number of public hearings, and I'd like to advertise and start those hearings so that we can start moving forward with consideration of the next bond project. Motion. Second. All in favor? All right. Next is the elementary report. Uh, we once again like to welcome um, Kim Dotson officially to the staff in her new capacity. 
as well as thank Nancy Carwright for all the work that you know she's done for us. Um, with that, again, we want to give our well wishes to Miss Rebs. Um, it was a healthy recovery for her. We did at the pool um, in the past couple of weeks have our third quarter student appreciation day with a pool party for grades one through five. Um, we've also finished I read three, um, as we just mentioned earlier, that wrapped up last week. So we're anxious to get that data um, and get it out to our families. Um, and lastly, just we hope everyone has a really happy and healthy spring break. Thanks, Kelly. Next is the high school report. First, we'd like to <clears throat> congratulate FC senior Eli Thompson. Eli was the recipient of the 2024 New Technical Academy Scholarship. The scholarship is valued at $180,000 and covers full tuition, housing, and travel expenses for Eli's education as he prepares for his career after high school. Um, I know tonight the spotlight will um, be centered on our drama production and our drama department. I just want to say, you know, what a pleasure it is to watch that program like many others in our school grow. Um, a testament to that is generally, Mrs. Baldwin reported to me that revenue brought in admission, ticket sales, donations that are um, purchased at the production typically totals around 1300 12 to $1,300. This year she brought in $2,500 so jet um, double what we normally take again it's just a testament to the quality of that program and then the excitement that's being built around that so congratulations to all involved there um, school counselor emily watson in our building recently hosted our fifth grade students from the elementary school they've come over toured our buildings ate lunch with us sat in classrooms that's been a yearly project that she's undertaken and it's just a great opportunity for those students to come over and see our building in preparation for next year um, Sunday, we have 18 students as well as some adult chaperones. Board, as you remember, we, we approved a, an EFT trip to Spain. Those students are flying out Sunday for their, their trip to Spain, along with Principal Mr. Davenport, who's for some reason a great chaperone. Um, but we're, we're excited about that program, and, and, and it's going to be a great experience for our kids. Um, last thing here is the board did approve for us to host two fundraisers, junior high rec night fundraisers, where we open up the building in the evening to our, our junior high students, allow them to swim, allow them to um, have access to the athletic facilities, just to experience some camaraderie, not only with their classmates, but with the staff that supervises that. Uh, we held those two fundraisers, one in the fall, one in the spring, in order to fund our class cup field trip in May. Just happy to um, have had that opportunity and wanted to report back that we were able to raise just over $2,200 for those two events. And that's going to, we're almost there for the um, cost of our class cup trip, but it was great evenings, great events, and something we'll do in the future as well. Thank you. All right, next is our student reports. Uh, spring sports. <clears throat> spring sports are now underway, and all of our teams have started officially practicing. We're excited to see our teams in action to close out the school year. And with that, we'd like to congratulate Isaac Gaylor. He was selected to participate in the IFCA North-South All-Star Game. Uh, he's just the 10th Mustang <coughs> in school history to achieve this honor. And FC was privileged to host bands from Attica, Covington, and and another thing, as a toddler, my father told me to push myself. I don't think he understood how swings work. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> Tonight's spotlight is the Fountain Central Drama Club presents Oz. Um, Miss Lindsay will be playing a clip from that as you know that we are of the come and be here tonight we want to show presented for us last week <laughs> and dorothy came <laughs> dorothy's here and so is auntie M. as has to one other special member of the cast okay hopefully the sound works here Is the TV catches it's up? Not, maybe she can sing. 
<laughs> and build anticipation here. There we go. Not 98%. <coughs> oh, that sounds like a
you say me, you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> I, I tend to not have any shame until I have to watch it. <laughs> it's over. You're lucky. Again, on the spotlight, thank you. I'm glad that a, a couple of our performers are here this evening. And, um, you know, it's just I enjoy using this time of the board meeting each month to spotlight programs and students who are doing outstanding things. We have so many students that are counted in so many different ways, and this is just one more example of it. And um, thank you for being here tonight. You did a fantastic job, and, and, yes. and it was just very enjoyable. Thank you. All right, next we have the discussion item, winter athletic accomplishments. Um, first of all, I'd like to share information that came from Mr. Good gave me the brag sheet for our winter athletics, one of which was shared by our student report, but I'm going to go through some of the other things. In boys basketball, the sixth grade boys basketball team won the Bi-County Tournament this year. So congratulations to Coach Noe Gonzalez and the sixth grade boys. The eighth grade boys basketball team won Bi-County Tournament this year at Attica. Congratulations to coaches Rick Walkie and Kevin Merriman and the 8th grade boys. Isaac Gaylor um, was a Mustang Club Award winner and also the unofficial career field goal percentage, a new record. Um, he was in all WRC. Isaac Gaylor and Owen Acton got honorable mention for that. In girls basketball, um, for all WRC, we had Hannah Frickett, Henley Good, Braley Hoagland, and Riley Simcoe was honorable mention. The Journal Review All Area, Hannah Prickett and Henley Good on the first team and second team, Braley Hoagland and Casey Kirkpatrick. Seventh grade girls basketball were the 2024 Bi-County Champions. In boys swimming and diving, William Armstrong had a new six dive record with 306.65 points. William broke and then rebroke this record four times during the season. William Armstrong is the new WRC and FC 11 dive record, 498.65. WRC champion, sectional champion, and he set a new sectional record. State qualifier, the only freshman diver at at state and he came in 12th out of 32. At state finals, all other divers were from 3A and 4A schools. William was the only freshman and the only 1A or 2A representative. In girls swimming and diving, uh, they were the 2023-24 Bi-County champions. Haley Webb, 500 freestyle was WRC champion. Mary Rice, the 200 IM WRC champion. Mary Rice, the 100 backstroke WRC champion. Mary Rice, 100 breaststroke sectional champion and state qualifier. <laughs> and Peyton Hawking, second place sectional diving and a regional qualifier. Journal review to all area were Peyton Hawking and Mary Rice. In wrestling, Dakota Willoughby, the 138 class, was WRC champion, all WRC and all by county. Andrew Mendoza in the 285 class was all by county. Five wrestlers advanced to regional. Those were Kalen Willis, Brandon Pig, Andrew Mendoza, Dakota Willoughby, and Dallas Simmons. Journal review all area included Dallas Simmons, Andrew Mendoza, and Brandon Pig. I also want to um, highlight some students who were chosen for, their artwork was chosen for display in the Arts Federation's Youth Art Month exhibition in Lafayette. So those students included Ella Roush, Liam Davenport, Lydia Linfesti, Bowen Wolf, Heston Crowder, Lola Cadle, Marissa Jones, Kaysen Randolph, Melanie Wolverton, Ellie Norman, Emmeline Sarver, and Arizona Ratcliffe. So as I just said about the spotlight, we have so many talented kids in all different realms in this district. So I'm excited to share that. Um, continuing on with my statements, 
Um, I like to read when we get accolades about um, what we're doing here. So I wanna share from Mark Miller. He sent something in regarding our sectional. He said, Jason, thank you for a great sectional. The care Jerry provided us was amazing. The food in the hospitality room was the best I've experienced in my years of working the tournament. The ladies are to be commended for doing such a wonderful job. I really appreciate your communication with us. We had some good competitive games and a great atmosphere. Even though I plan to still officiate basketball, this is my last time to work the tournament. I could have asked for a, I couldn't have asked for a better experience to end on. Thanks for all your hard work and commitment to helping kids succeed through athletics. Um, also, um, another accolade that I want to share is about Mr. Webb. Um, this came from Gregory Mecklem, who is part of our Indiana, our AP teachers are part of the um, AP TIP, which is Teacher Investment Program. Says, good afternoon. I'm writing to share with our gratitude for the work that Chris Webb has done on behalf of the AP Teacher Investment Program this year. Last week, Chris facilitated our student online sessions in Calculus. <coughs> During these sessions, he guided students from our program schools through the fundamental theorem of calculus and reviewed common problems they would likely see on the AP exam in May. These four one hour sessions are non-trivial time commitment on their own, not to mention the preparation required. Chris demonstrated a creditable degree of professionalism in his preparation, as well as during the sessions. In January, Chris also facilitated a remote teacher collaborative in AP Calculus AB. While a single session may not I have required the same amount of time as student online sessions. Being willing to facilitate a session full of teachers rather than students is no mean feat. AP TIP is grateful for Chris and his generosity and leadership in facilitating these programs. So again, I just appreciate getting to not only um, say how much that our students do in this district also share about the great things our staff are doing. And finally, we just started quarter four. I wanna give a big thank you to staff, students, and families for great collaborative efforts and success thus far. I hope that everyone has a great spring break and come back ready to finish strong. Thank you. All right, statements or concerns from the board? Um, you know, as, as you mentioned, we had a lot of a lot of things to celebrate this winter um, with our athletics and the, the drama club. That was that was fantastic, by the way. You got you got a very good voice, young lady. That was that was fun to listen to. Um, as always, you know, we got to commend our teachers, coaches, and staff for the things that you guys do to get those students in those positions. And we we thank the whole the whole uh, corporation for that. So. Just want to make sure sometimes you do, you guys don't get the thanks you deserve so, and pass that on to all the, the staff too. I want to say how proud I am of our teaching staff, our administrators, that we can put out a 95% commitment to IREAD 3. That is just awesome considering it's younger and younger, it seems like every year. So that is really great that we're that high. <laughs> 